thousand fifty thirty. Yes, but. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You can always take the two. Oh, oh gross. <laughs> <laughs> you are standing on this place. Yeah. Why don't you? Come back. Just here. in front of you, okay? Well, this way, please. 
Well, uh, by the entrance to the temple, to the right or to the left hand side, you can see that we still certain the inside the temple. Well, I am so concerned that I am concerned that the Spanish the French they came to the temple, searched inside the temple, and whatever they found or they did on the bottom, the house of the Take your time, Habibi, but hurry up. <laughs> That was not safe. <laughs> yeah. the, this is, is like showing the highlights of Luxor city sites. The Sphinx Avenue, Karnak Temple, Luxor Temple right here. And uh, we also have, this was the house of Kor that we're gonna drive by, a temple of city, a temple of uh, Amenhotep III, Ramsium of Ramses II, the Valley of the Kings that we will visit tomorrow, Valley of the Queens, we only found two Queen's tombs there, so uh, there's a lot of Queens to be found. Deir el Medina, which is the village for the workers to live in, and uh, the other big one, Hatshepsut Temple right here, which is unique. That's why I said Luxor is very big in history because of that much we found and we're still discovering. Actually recently, a few days ago, they there's a new discovery in Luxor as well, a tomb for uh, one of the workers. Now, if you look down here, <clears throat> that was the Nile. Oh, oh. yes. If you look down in the, in the stone, even in the ground, can you see the traces? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can see water traces. So, this is yes. part of the harbor. You see that kind of like sloping down? It looks like a ramp. Mm -hmm. Right. This was part of the harbor. This was the main harbor of the god Amun Ra, where the people are standing now, which we're going to go through. That was the harbor back in the days. So the Nile, which is back there, uh, this is like what? A kilometer or two far now than the original site where the Nile used to be. That's also because of the high dam when it was built and also uh, kind of like the current changes through the uh, centuries. Now, in the front of us, this beautiful temple is Karnak. You have two hours, three times. Right here, right here. Two hours, three times. God named Aten after his death, 17, 18 years of ruling, then he died, they destroyed his temple. Are we going to throw it away? Why? We can make use of it. Destroy the temple, yes. But use the stone to build a pilot better than just throwing away the whole stone. And instead of going back to the quarry and making new stones, we can make use of it. When you go free, in this court, let's say, okay, I need, as a pharaoh I'm talking, 
134 columns in this court. What? 134 columns. You said so. Make it happen. No problem, sir. So they built the wall surrounding the court, the enclosure wall, let's say for one meter, three foot height. And they stopped. They, they got into the court to build only the pedestals. To build only the pedestals with the same height of the surrounding wall. Okay. And then they're going to fill in the space with sand. Okay, and there is the ramp being built outside within the kind of the, of the enclosure wall. You're going to add more height of the wall surrounding the court. Another meter, three feet. Okay, and you add more layers to the pedestals on the top as part of the column. Perfecto. More sand. And on. And on. And then you just get away the sand. So you built the whole column in layers. And all this is covered with sand. Like, now what? What are we going to do? Here's a good thing about the Egyptians. They used to work in teams, literally at the same time. Meaning, whose team is in charge of polishing and smoothing? Me. And who's the one in charge of putting the outlines of the writing and uh, the out figures? You. And who's in charge of painting? She. And who's actually before her in charge of checking the spelling? You. And bit by bit, in the same time, we're taking the sand down. How? Making it. Also, ich kann nicht behaupten, dass in 96 jeden Tag in das gemacht wird. Ja, das kann ich mir nicht vorstellen. Und warum hat er so viel gearbeitet? Wieso? Es gab ja keine Schienen. Right. With modern kind of modern language, you would be an Egyptian citizen. Now stay still, but look at this. Stay still. Or the key of life. What is the key of life? Some are saying. This was kind of representing the night. And I was like, ah, yeah. Really? Nah, no, no. Uh, more researches and it says like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. This is actually So they're kind of making babies, making lives. And I said, well, yeah, why not, but we know you better. Shem, C-H-I-M. What is, what is Shem, Simon? Now he disappears. <laughs> Isn't that your last name? Yes. Shen. C-H-I-N or C-H-E-N. Meaning what, so you know? Eternity. Eternal and eternity. <clears throat> and we get this. <clears throat> to China, because we're givers. So in the Chinese that you were older, are you listening to this? <laughs> You're not Chinese, are you? Originally? No? So we're givers, guys. We gave you all this from the ancient time. Are you recording this? Oh my God. Oh, you're not. Oh, man. So the shen, the shen itself, originally in ancient time, was a circle. And it means eternal of eternity. And only a name of a god or a name of a pharaoh would be written in. By the time they found that the circle shape is not going to fit, my name is not going to fit in. You're going. You're going. No, no, no. Oh, Like after a while, I get so tired, dude. Like it's like information overload. Like, 
But the shape was ancient Egyptian style to have such an obelisk. Obelisk, we even guess today, uh, was representing a temple, a place or a temple, it's similar. This is probably the purpose of having an obelisk to tell you or it's a sign. Get down, Barbara, please. <coughs> Thank you. It's not allowed to climb the stones, guys. Thank you. And would be seen from a distance, so you know this is a temple. Like today we can see the cross and we know here is a church or the crescent and here is a mosque that you can go in. So that's the, what we actually think today. Now there is farther and in front of me is an obelisk dedicated to Tishmosis the first, father of Queen, of queen King Hatshepsut. But there were two of them, and Hatshepsut herself built these two obelisks for her father, kind of greeting, and um, uh, uh, even after his death. When she made those two obelisks of her father out of granite stone, one single block of granite stone, probably 200 tons, one single piece, he said, Daddy, Habibi, I love you, but I also love me, and I'm the king now, and I'm in charge now that I can have and let me tell you, this is my hero. To Moses the third. Why is my hero? Seventeen battles during his lifetime, never lost one. Enlarging the empire of Egypt like it never before, never after him. The size of Egypt empire at his time is unbelievable. Unbelievable. We had a threat at his time about the Nile. You know guys that the Nile comes from South I don't understand. Don't <laughs>
Both on the 18 style, 18 dynasty style columns like we talked about. Ahmed the III made this. In 19... Was it 19... 50 maybe? I would say probably. We found that these columns right in front of us that we're looking at are kind of like falling apart because the bottom of it was kind of looks kind of damaged and we found that this is because of the water table is damaging all the columns. So they decided to do the station by cutting the columns and these are the columns back here. But while doing this, you see that lady sitting right there? Look at where we have it Look at ship. 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 Look at Look at Museum. And I think there's more to be found. But for some reason, the, uh, uh, their articles and kind of report and research, like, no more to be found, like, I think they're more. And I think the more still can be found, or there's probably more and more by someone in the